Today we're going to be performing a web app scan on OpenVAS. So under scans, tasks, we're going to create a new task. And this is where we're going to generate our new tasks from this setup wizard. So we're going to give it a name. We're going to give it a vulnerable web scan as the title. We're not going to leave any comments and we're going to have to create a new scan target here as well. So we'll call this target vulnerable web app. Okay, no comment. Um, but we're going to add in the host IP address here. Now I'm just going to leave everything here as default. We can do an authenticated check as well, but we're not going to add any credentials here for the time being. So we'll save this. And the scan target has now been populated with the IP address that we've just created. We can set a schedule. In this instance, we won't be. We can add the result to the assets section. And here we've got the scanner type. And we've also got the configuration. Now it is important to understand what each of these scans does, so I would advise checking that out on the OpenVAS page. I'll leave it in a link in the description. We'll save this scan. And as you can see, we have a filter for status done. We're going to remove that. Refresh. Okay, so we can see this new scan here, vulnerable web scan. So the status is new. We're going to launch that now. Okay, so it's been requested. It's now being queued. It's now running. Okay, so the scan is now complete. So we're going to take a look at the report here. Okay, so we've got the results here. We can see they're reporting SSH, HTTP, uh, all on TCP. So, yeah, we're using a, a weak algorithm here, a weak uh, key exchange using SHA-1. We'll scroll down. We can see the, the impact here. The attacker can quickly break individual connections. So, we need to disable that. Again, weak key algorithms. We've also got a backup file publicly accessible, so that can be downloaded by anyone. We can see there's mitigations and workarounds as well. So one example here is the transmission of uh, clear text credentials over HTTP. the impact and the solution here as well just to enable SSL encryption SSL TLS connection and we can also see the reference to OWASP as well so A2 broken authentication and session management and sensitive data exposure as well okay, so we can see the host here we can see the operating system that it believes to be and we can see two ports where we're running into these vulnerabilities. We've also got uh, bits of key information here. We've got the server versions, we've got the operating system version, and then we've also got a CV as well. Now, once we resolve these vulnerabilities, we can then rerun the scan.